Whether you work in industry, government, private research and development, or the military, advanced studies can take your career in engineering to greater heights. We're delighted you've chosen to learn more about how Johns Hopkins Engineering can help you accomplish your goals. The Engineering for Professionals online part-time programs at Johns Hopkins Engineering offers thoughtfully designed courses that enhance your knowledge and build the essential skills to help you excel in your career. Our top-ranked programs are academically rigorous and you will engage in meaningful learning interactions with instructors and classmates. The Johns Hopkins University Environmental Engineering, Environmental Engineering and Science, and Environmental Planning and Management programs will equip you with the methods and tools you need to develop solutions for today's most complex environmental challenges. A key benefit of the program is that you'll learn from faculty who are highly qualified and hold the highest degree in their field of expertise. Our faculty are committed to excellence in teaching. The Master of Environmental Engineering, Master of Science in Environmental Engineering and Science, and the Master of Science in Environmental Planning and Management and Certificates are all offered exclusively online. All master's programs require the successful completion of 10 courses to earn the degree. You will have up to five years to complete the coursework. The programs require five core courses related to your specific area of study and five elective courses. This structure gives you the flexibility to design your learning experience. The graduate certificate and the post-master certificate require the successful completion of six courses. You will have up to three years to complete the courses. The programs require three core courses related to your specific area of study and three elective courses. The emphasis in the environmental engineering program is on the design of environmental engineering, including processes, infrastructures, remediation technologies, and treatment processes. The environmental engineering and science program focuses on the fundamental concepts of physics, chemistry, biology, and geology as applied in the context of environmental issues. There is less emphasis on design and management in this program. The Environmental Planning and Management program focuses on the relationship between environmental engineering, science, and public policy analysis, the role of economic factors in environmental management, and water resource planning using decision-making tools. In partnership with the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health, we offer a focus area in all three programs that focuses on the health aspect of environmental engineering. It explores the adverse effects of environmental agents on human health and environmental engineering interventions. This track will enable you to better face new challenges regarding emerging complex environmental hazards. General admissions and program requirements must be met to be admitted into the programs. There are four general requirements. You must have a bachelor's degree from an accredited college or university, have a grade point average of at least 3.0 in the latter half of your undergraduate studies, relevant work experience or a graduate degree in a technical discipline may be considered in lieu of meeting the GPA guideline. Submit transcripts from all college studies. Unofficial transcripts are accepted to apply. However, official transcripts must be submitted before you can enroll in any course. GRE scores are not required. In order to be admitted into the Environmental Engineering Program, you need to hold a degree issued by a program accredited by the Engineering Accreditation Commission of ABET. You must have also successfully completed a mathematics course that includes a calculus sequence and differential equations. If your prior education does not include the prerequisites listed above, you may still be admitted under provisional status, followed by full admission once you have completed the missing prerequisites. Missing prerequisites may be completed with Johns Hopkins Engineering or at another regionally accredited institution. In order to be admitted into the Environmental Engineering and Science program, you must have successfully completed Calculus 1, Calculus 2, and Differential Equations. Successful completion of college-level courses in Biology, Chemistry, Geology, Physics, and Statistics are strongly recommended. 
In order to be admitted into the Environmental Planning and Management program, you must have successfully completed one year of college-level calculus. Successful completion of college-level courses in physics, chemistry, biology, geology, and statistics are strongly recommended. Our goal is to fully prepare you to flourish as an environmental engineering professional. Upon completing the degree program, you will have mastered the ability to identify, formulate, and solve complex problems in environmental engineering. Johns Hopkins University was the nation's first research university, founded for the express purpose of putting discovery and knowledge to work for the good of humanity. Today, we are a top-tier university and remain committed to academic excellence and pioneering research. As a student, you'll have complete access to a host of digital and technical resources, academic and career advising, and support services from across the university. Every student gets the full value and recognition of a Johns Hopkins engineering education. Online students in the Engineering for Professionals program receive the same Johns Hopkins University credentials and diploma as those who study on campus and walk across the stage on graduation day. We look forward to supporting your education and career goals and seeing you in our virtual classrooms. For more information and to apply, go to ep.jhu.edu forward slash apply.